Identification of anions and cations. Perform some techniques of qualitative analysis to selectively test for cations and anions in solution. These signature tests will be used to identify unknown ions. Place your test tube rack on a piece of paper. Insert all your test tubes and label them on the piece of paper. Take one test tube at a time from your test tube rack to the reagent bench. When using a centrifuge, be sure to use the small test tubes. The volume levels inside the test tubes should be about the same. Adjust the levels by adding distilled water. Insert the test tubes into the centrifuge so that they're opposite each other. Blue litmus paper turns red when in contact with acidic solutions and stays blue when in contact with neutral or basic solutions. Red litmus paper turns blue when in contact with basic solutions and stays red when in contact with neutral or acidic solutions. The test for the carbonate ion. Make sure the glass rod is inside the lime water. When adding hydrochloric acid, it should be added gently down the test tube without disturbing the carbonate layer. and then immediately cap the test tube with the stopper. This is to ensure the maximum amount of gas is bubbled through the lime water. Record your observations. Clean the materials and put everything away. 